evening, it's Wednesday, June 2nd, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Listen and Know, and our scripture is Mark's Gospel, chapter 4. Then Jesus asked them, Would anyone light a lamp and then put it under a basket or under a bed? Of course not. A lamp is placed on a stand where its light will shine. For everything that is hidden will eventually be brought into the open, and every secret will be brought to light. Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Then he added, Pay close attention to what you hear. The closer you listen, the more understanding you will be given, and you will receive even more. To those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given. But for those who are not listening, Even what little understanding they have will be taken away from them. One of the most memorable advertising icons was the guy who continually asked, Can you hear me now? That's somewhat related to what my dad would say when talking to his youngest son. Russell J., are you listening to me? Whenever my tall dad with the steel blue eyes used both my first and middle names, it was time to sit up and take notice. If he had to add your last name, the result would not be pretty. There is something of that in Jesus' teaching about listening and understanding. The meaning is unmistakable. Disciples are not just to hear the words and grasp the connection of what's supposed to be learned. Rather, it's a matter of listening with the intention of having the message change your behavior. And the purpose for this can-you-hear-me-now moment is very clear. There are consequences for how we respond. For those who listen and put into practice what God speaks, there are rewards. Skipping this Discipleship 101 class means loss. So what are the rewards and losses? They have to do with what's going inside the center of your being and your soul. For those who develop a listening heart, ready to understand and follow God's will, it gets easier to hear His voice. Life, even with all of its difficulties and complexity, makes more sense, and you learn how to be content with God's ways and will, because you surrendered your will to His. And when the tough times come, you're not blown off your pins, because you know the entirety of Heaven's host has your back. It will be well with your soul. But for those who maintain defiance, desiring little to be a follower, but rather a captain of his own fate and choices, the chances of hearing God's voice and seeing his blessings in life grow dimmer with each passing year. The final result is a stone-cold deafness to the word of God and blindness to how empty life can become. What Jesus was setting up with his disciples is a life principle of surrendering our will to God's will so that the unseen God of the burning bush will be speaking and you will already be unlacing your sandals to bow at that holy place because you've learned to listen. Some of that learning was by trial and error. You walked away only to find you were lost on your own but most of it will be because you chose faith in the God you cannot see, but who sees you and knows even the intentions of your heart. For you today. So, have you made the decision to surrender that inner person of yours to the one who knows every atom in your body, your heart, mind, soul, and strength? Judson Van Deventer wrote about a hundred hymns in the 19th century. One of his more well-known ones makes the point about this life of surrender. All to Jesus I surrender, make me, Savior, holy thine. Let me feel thy Holy Spirit truly know that thou art mine. I surrender all, I surrender all, all to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.